This is a patient who comes in with abdominal pain, and we get a CAT scan with intravenous contrast. As we look at this study, there's a bunch of things that sort of pop out here, all bowel related. You can see that there are numerous fluid filled loops of large bowel that are distended. And if you also look on the soft tissue windows, you'll notice that there's a pneumoperitoneum. So let's sort of handle this uh, issue by issue. If we just follow the large bowel over here, numerous fluid filled loops of large bowel, so you'd be worried about a potential obstruction. You can see the descending colon here, fluid filled, distended. Going over here, the sigmoid colon is also distended. As we go downwards, we can start to see that there's almost an abrupt narrowing right around there of that sigmoid colon. The wall's a little bit thickened. Maybe there's a few nodes in this location that are a little bit prominent. And so certainly, at the very least, there's a stricture causing a large bowel obstruction. Given that wall thickening, given that adenopathy, we're worried about an underlying cancer over there. In terms of the pneumoperitoneum, certainly there is some pneumoperitoneum over here. If we look at the cecum here, quite distended, fluid-filled, we can start to see that there are dependent areas of gas within the bowel wall over here. This is a good look for pneumatosis. And as we look over here, we can see that there is an air fluid level closely associated with this loop of bowel over there. And so this was uh, a large bowel obstruction due to a sigmoid cancer. This also resulted in ischemia of portions of the bowel, certainly the cecum, resulting in uh, pneumatosis and uh, rupture and pneumoperitoneum.